have Phil from Nate's Flowers. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, hi everybody. I'm Phil Monroe with Nate's Flowers. Um, sitting here at work, here to serve you guys. Awesome. So tell us the story. I love the story of Nate's Flowers and how your dad came to become the owner. Sure. So, you know, he started working here in high school. Um, I'm not going to say how long ago that was, Alicia, but, um, and he, he just fell in love with the business and he worked here for, I believe it was 25, 30 years. And, you know, Nate's has been around since the 1950s. Um, it's, it's a staple here in Casper. And uh, in, uh, I believe it was 92, he purchased it and, from Nate and he's just been here ever since. Awesome. So, and how long has that building been there? A long time, right? So yeah, I'm, yeah, I couldn't even give you the exact date, um, but it's been here early 1900s. That's awesome. Yeah, it totally is a staple. I mean, so oh, I know what this is. A um, how you got to tell me how you think of the the sayings to go on the sign. Well, you do that, right? Yeah. So it's it's a group effort now. <laughs> I mean, it started. It, you know, it back when when Nate owned it. They, I think they would you know, use it for marquees and, and different specials and that kind of stuff. Um, and I think, I don't know if it was my dad, but I believe the story goes that it was him that started putting up some motivational stuff on there. Mm -hmm. And I, that is just clicked. And so now we kind of argue who gets to do the sign because it's, it's something that, you know, we're all so proud of and the response we get from the community. I mean, you know, you never know what somebody's going through. And we get phone calls all the time. Just <laughs> he'll be right back on. Be lives having some problems today. I think there's so many people on. There, there. Yep, we're good. It's good. Um, okay, so so um, you get calls all the time. Yes. Yeah, we get calls. People telling us that that sign has just really picked them up. Um, there's been times people call to order flowers and. When you ask them what to put on the card message, they say, put what's on your sign. So it's, oh, I love that. That. yes, it's been, it's been wonderful. Um, cool. And we all enjoy it. And, and the feedback we get, I think a lot of people enjoy it. I love it. Um, what, what's on there right now? Um, honestly. Are you you didn't get to pick this time. That's what happened. That? You didn't get to pick. I this. didn't pick this time. I know we, <laughs> we all talked about something that about believing and, and, something to represent what we're going through as a community and, and being together. Um, we actually talked about changing it today. So I didn't do it today. I don't know if it did get changed, but we're, we're wanting to put on there that we are here. We're open. We're yep. Casper strong and we're going to get through this together as a community. We are Casper strong. So the, the, um, so somebody that watches this right now that knows, put it in the comments. We'd love to know what it says. Okay. <laughs> So um, you're still delivering, right? Yes. Yes. So we're, we're doing the best we can. Um, one thing that uh, the tough part about delivery is the recipient, when they receive flowers, they don't know they're getting it. Uh, you know, when you order pizza or, or something, you, you know you're getting it, but the recipient doesn't know they're getting it. It's tough. It's a catch-22 because mm -hmm. we don't want to ruin the element of surprise. But in a situation like this that we're going through, um, we are calling and we're, we're doing what's comfortable to the recipient. Um, you know, different businesses, we call, they meet us outside. We're, we're doing our part to, to, you know, stay distant from one another. Um, there has been recipients that just aren't comfortable. They say, please leave it on the door and I'll get it when you leave. Yep. And that's, we're here to accommodate in any way we can. So um, I called you today because I didn't, oh, I don't know what's going on. There he is. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get through this here. Okay. So um, I called you guys today because I wanted to know if you still deliver to the hospital. Um, so you're right. that's really important to know that you're still doing that. We are. You know, when this first happened, there was a day where we weren't, and that was hospital protocol, trying to get everything in in lined out to see what what we can and what we can't do. Mm -hmm. um, we do. We have only one access point to take flowers to the hospital. Um, I've personally had nurses call me and say, please tell people to get stuff up here. It's empty. We need some happiness and cheerfulness. And 
so we are getting there um and you know our drivers and, and our staff it's it, that we have one in access point to get there that's awesome but we're doing it and i still think there's an element of surprise right because you don't know that you are get what you're getting you you might know you're getting something but right right yeah, yeah and it's you know it's tough because some people and i get it they they want to surprise their loved one um but in times like this sometimes we do have to you know kind of do what's best for the community and do our part as well mm -hmm. there the month of the daisy is april and i actually can't believe that i didn't know that because i love daisies right so you guys are putting together some different things based around daisies and happiness and Yes, absolutely. They're one of the best flowers for, for happiness is daisies. Um, and, you know, they come in multiple colors. They last a long time. And I tell the girls here at work, I say, I don't know what it is about a daisy, but when I see one, it just makes me feel good, mm -hmm. you know, and, and they're, they're inexpensive as opposed to some of your more expensive flowers. Um, but they just make such an impact. So, you know, that's what we're doing through all of this. We're, we're here to accommodate, you know, we want to, Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for being so awesome. Yes. Popping back on here. Okay. So, so daisies and, and the other thing about daisies is they're super hardy. Oh yeah. Super hardy. They last a good long time. Yep. Um, and they just, they make such an impact. So you also have a lot of Easter lilies. Easter lilies. Yes. And, and people are ordering them. We sent a, a bunch out today. Um, we have access to get more. It, it's just so tough, you know, with with what's going on in the community, you know, the churches and stuff that are closed down. But we do have Easter lilies. We're doing Easter baskets. I had a customer today order five centerpieces to go through throughout, you know, the community, the family and friends. And if you guys receive one, I hope they're beautiful for you on, on this weekend. I have no doubt they're going to be gorgeous. Yeah. So the other fun thing that I did, another thing I didn't know, is that you will put together Easter baskets. Yes. Well, and especially times like this. So, you know, we're limited on a little bit. Some people want us to do some good, good Easter baskets for the kids, and that usually entails some chocolates and little candies and stuff. Obviously, we do got to go to the store and, and get some of that stuff, and it's we're limited on, obviously, some of the supplies, or we have to make it, plan it to do... Mm -hmm you know, like maybe once a day or something, we're, we're putting our heads together. Um, I have had customers bring in supply items and then we deliver a basket. Uh, and it's really helpful for, especially for family members um, and grandparents that live out of state or just even out of town. It's tough for everybody because we can't go see family right now. You know, Easter is one of those holidays where we're, we want to be around family. And right now it's, we're, we're best not to. So we're here to help send that for you. I think it's, it's great to be a part of. Yeah. And I think that, you know, flowers are, are something that's pretty easy to get done. So if you want to thank, you know, people that are working on your staffs, working hard or um, kind of are on the front line. <laughs> oh, poor Phil. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, B Live is just being overtaken, I think. So that I, I agree. agree. Um, anyway, so if we, you know, the front lines, anybody that wants to, um, you know, thank somebody, this is a great way to go. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, one thing that's important too, Alicia, is right now we're all, you know, I, I don't want to keep going back to the what we're going through as a community, but it's fact. We're all going through this. But I think it's really important for everybody to have mental health and, and flowers, the impact flowers can have on somebody. It just, it's, it's food for the soul. And, you know, we're still bringing in product. We're doing the best we can. Um, like our, our lobby is closed here, but we're doing curbside pickup. You call us, we'll take it to your car. We'll deliver anywhere. And, and we're here to accommodate and keep that spirit up and keep that spirit alive. Yep. So this segues perfectly. What what is your message of hope to the Casper area residents? I I think just we're such a unique community. 
Um, we're obviously, we're, we're in the best state in America. But Casper, I'm raising my son here. We, I mean, it's such an amazing community. And I think just that we have to be kind and we have to be there for each other. Um, and, and we'll get through it together. But it's, it's something that's going to take all of us individually doing our parts. And, and we're going to get through it. And we'll probably, years to come, we might come out better. Um, but, but it's going to take all of us. Yep. I've been saying it's probably going to change a lot of what we do forever. Right. I agree. Yep. Well, Phil, thank you so much for joining me on here and being such a great sport, getting back on every time Be Live kicked you off. <laughs> That's all right. I enjoyed it. And um, I look forward to, oh, where'd he go? Dang it. Let's see, is he coming back on? So anyway, you guys, um, thank you for listening to these. I think they're great to help small businesses in our community. Um, you know, small businesses are the, the heart of our community. So anyway, if you know of anybody who would like to visit with me, I um, would love for you to reach out to me. So anyway, have a great day, everybody. See ya.